to attempt to arrange an interview with Terry Bam Bam Gordy. And he succeeded in doing that. And Terry, I do appreciate you taking time from your busy schedule. I have a lot of questions to ask, but one of my first questions is, we're here at the top of this uh, big arena. It's, it's empty, and uh, why this setting? Well, let me ask you something. Don't it, don't it feel good setting up here? I mean, up at top, I mean, don't it, I mean, looking down at everything, don't it feel good? Sitting on top of the world, so to speak. That's right, that's right. You know, and that's what I was doing six weeks ago. I was setting up on top of the world, man. I had the biggest title in professional wrestling today. And now it's all went downhill. That's why I'm setting up here, because six weeks ago I was setting up on top. And I like it up on top. That's where I should be, is up on top. Hey, I'll give you credit where credit's due. I think you're the best announcer in professional wrestling today. I do appreciate that very and much. And I think I'm the best professional wrestler in professional wrestling today. Don't you agree? Well, I'll tell you what, if you're not the best, you're certainly uh, right at the top of the heap. I'm not going to get into philosophies, but I, there's some questions. Why Sunshine? Why is Sunshine involved with the Freebirds now? Let me just tell you something, Ross. You know, have you ever been around my brother, Michael? Have you ever seen all the girls that try to flock on him, man? I had to bring sunshine in to keep the girls off of him, man, because it was causing problems. That's why I brought sunshine in. Well, that's, that makes a lot of sense uh, in, in that context. What about the big man, the angel of death, 6'7", 320 pounds? That's right, and he is a big, big man, and he gets the job done, brother. Let me just tell you this, Ross. You know, uh... Angel of Death, he needs to be there when uh, me and my brothers, we got other places to be. You know, there's a big demand for us all over the world. And he's there to be with my brothers when I'm gone, and he's there to be with me if my brothers are gone. You know, that's why the Angel of Death is there. All right. That, and that, that's, I think that's a viable alternative there. What about last week here on the program? Fantastic's having a great tag team matchup. You walk to the ring, you tear them both apart. Why? Yeah, let me tell you something, man. You know, it's like this. You know, they jump my brothers from behind, and I don't appreciate nobody jumping my, in the ring with my brothers. They didn't have no business in there. You know, it's like uh, they want to do something when I'm gone, man. Let me tell you something. You know, that's why I did it. Well, bottom line, Universal Heavyweight Championship. Universal Heavyweight Champion. You're the first man to hold that title. I know it's very special to you. To get it back is going to take going through Dr. Death, I would think. Yeah, hey, you know, that don't matter to me. Dr. Death's a tough man. You know, I'll give credit where credit's to. I gave credit to you. I'll give credit to him. You know, it's he's a tough man, and I'll go through him. I've been through everybody before. You know, I'm the greatest. I am the... That's what I want people to start calling me. I am the greatest. I'm the greatest champion of all, you know what I mean? And uh, I'll go through Dr. Death. I'm going to get my title back. I'll go through anybody that it takes, you know. It don't matter to me, man. I've been through them before, and I'll do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, those comments from the former Universal Heavyweight Champion, Terry Bam Bam.